The founder of Senko in 1925 actually is the founder of the It's all in street So he was very passionate about the So he left Senko in 1992. So we created the United Kingdom of the So with the same passion, with the same knowledge, with the same interest. So that's where United Season and Brand Power has been uh, introduced into the market. It's not the end of the So we are now 30 years old. Uh, the kind of company. All right. Again, in we are fully local. Uh, despite the name of our, I think I always have the impression that we are from Japan. Our, right? I think some of you think our company from Japan is very expensive. No, we are expensive because it's too expensive. <laughs> anyway, uh, it's a bit of a mix of where Kawa come from. Uh, uh, we, we started buying a machine from Kawasaki Steel. So most of the machine from the bank from Kawasan is still back. The boss at the time thought they didn't want to use Kawasaki the brain name. But Kawasaki said, of the Japanese, they don't say, no, 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 Kawasaki is mine, you just take the power You know? So then that's how the industry works. So uh, we have rated ourselves to be medium and high. We always rated ourselves medium and high. If you look at the way that we do things, we are going to more. So if anyone to come to us, they want to do bodies, they want to do, you know, uh, short talks kind of thing, we don't have it, unfortunately, or fortunately, you know. So that's where we are, we are here and high. Um, in 1996, uh, as I mentioned to one of the companies now, we are the first local company to convert ourselves to 100% school, 1996. Forget what I said because you see the same logo, they have no charge to do it then. The factory didn't know otherwise. We don't take care of it, but we in 1996 uh, we decided to have Kalashi Kalashi and Blue Scope and become the first non Blue Scope group 100% uh, uh, with Blue Scope material. We don't have any other material. Fortunate or unfortunate, we think. Process. I think of you know, we show very much that they have made an innovative one. Right. So we always believe that uh, we have to be a uh, trusted between providers. We started from technical consultation. Most of the time, it's good to me. What can I do? What can I do? You know, uh, what length? What should we do? What kind of thing? Uh, what kind of insulation? What kind of thing? So we have a uh, quality assurance. We assure ourselves to everyone that uh, manufacturing. Never be less than the object is we have to Then, first on site support, we will be some place that's not sure what the site will be like. Okay, uh, yeah. all right. Of course, we, we have to comply. Most of uh, nowadays, every more than I took the is now, look, uh, local requirements, everything. The last that I remember, I came here, the architect was very. Interested to know about it, go on for five years. Yeah, you know, everybody talk about what she was going for, she was going to be five years. So, that we have to comply a lot of things. Uh, on the ISO, the way that we do things, uh, provided the production, EMS 155, uh, and 250. 
Then we have this one for for the fire. Uh, then uh, now what we come on is however building that. So some other thing that we combine uh, like um, effect of Google. I think many job D and D in the net or even Google now they require uh, uh effect of Google. I think if you any anyone know what effect of Google? Really, really know what effect of Google, right? So if you need some information, you can ask me later. But uh, for now, I think uh, okay. When we were invited, we used to come here. We don't know what kind of subject we want to do and talk. Okay, uh, I want to come visit. Talk. We don't talk about profile. I think all of you guys can talk. Right. So some of you guys can come. Uh, do where you you be. I don't want to be everything you guys can explore. So we decided to 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 adapt what we call it the uh, people who how to say neglect the win by default. We look at how to do friendship and patience. No matter how good is your group without friendship, or what the shit I'm saying. No one really bothered about friendship. What what sounds of friendship that you do, what they call it, what should be like that, what should be like this, you know, how to optimize the friendships. And we I also input uh, in my slide later but uh, uh, on the goods. Huh? Does anybody know how to calculate how big your data should be, how your file to size should be, your number should be? So, this I think is uh, by default. People don't really care about it. Uh, they are only come to people like me. They say, I don't have time to calculate this thing, how many files I have. The data is no problem, it's not a problem. The rule is not in the rule. The rest is uh, forget it, you know. So, we decided to take this cycle, I think, with the help of child. I think uh, Chao will talk briefly about the uh, presentation before I elaborate for the how to understand the, 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 the product we apply. Right? For that, I think I will say thank you for the talk for introducing me. So, all the rest of the guests, um, hope you enjoy today. If anything, I always believe the presentation, some presentation, always a condition that I talk, you talk. You know? If uh, I want to talk, you laugh, you can't say that to me yet. Right? <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're not going to do it. Check out the positive. Thank you. Okay, um, good morning, everyone. Uh, thanks for coming here. It's okay. so, welcome. And uh, so, thanks for having me uh, for us today. Also, of course, we can do the discussion. So, we just want to share with you all this. So to add on to what uh, I always call an anxiety, like it's quite simple on this, uh, this, this industry. So uh, just on top of what anxiety mentioned the sound is uh, actually you see on the to speak on the title is coming designing beyond limits. So uh, why we said this title actually is I believe that most of the time when I can design the steel room for war, right? When you're not really sure about the detailing part, you maybe have some. Some so called uh, the back off for ourselves, and whether it's can or cannot. So, today, what we're trying to, to, to share with you is uh, building the, the art of metal claim to bring mastery. So, we, should, we try to share with you that uh, in terms of the detailing or the flashing, what can be done and what can be done, and what should you focus so that when you do the design, maybe you think, oh, this is what I heard, and maybe you can push the limit to a certain way. So, this is the of today. So, yeah, so today will be separate into two parts. This is sometimes you touch the screen to call for them. Okay, so uh, before I start, uh, let me just play a new color video for you. So uh, I'll make sure it, um, I will just play a video if you just cannot get it. Back. Okay, okay. All she wanted was me to have a happy life. No matter where I was, no matter who I became, she was always watching over me. So when the time came for me to step up, I was able to move forward, carry on, 
and face the world. Whenever life got stormy, I always knew deep in my heart that she will be there to keep me warm and safe. And today, I have someone that I want to protect. As I protect what matters most, I know she will too. My silent protector for the last 30 years and always. Powered by Australian technology, proven in Malaysian weather. Okay, so, uh, oh, someone. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> 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 So, uh, so the channel, and how, and how uh, my name is Xia Hao. If you are, if you need to call my name as uh, Xia Hao, you can call me Xia. Right? No problem with that. Okay, so we will split the two parts. So in the second part, we will uh, present by Moxaki. Uh, so uh, in short, actually, if I come to Moxaki, we will be more on deep dive into the uh, sharing and flashing detailing in a more practical way how to do it and case study sharing like this. So for my part, I will be more focused on the the standard one, the generic one. So in other words, like we swimming in a swimming pool, my one is one meter, but in front of us, I even point one meter now. Right? So the very me on that. So today, uh, I will go through all the, the so-called standard way to, to understand about the flashing. Of course, we just introduce to you why it's flashing. Then we we'll talk about the standard blue flashing, wall flashing, custom flashing, free water goes and the compatibility of it. Yeah. All right. So what is flashing? I think it's very straightforward that the flashing actually is to prevent all the passage wave. Because as mentioned by uh, Sandy, it's because when we have a joint between, we have we definitely need to think some way to save it up. Because why we have flashing is because uh, by nature itself, it still cannot depend on the sharp, sharp ending. Right? So you cannot be having one piece of the roof without any joint. We definitely have a straight joint and the other straight joint need to save it up. So uh, generally, we have two types uh, in the market for exposed and concealed. But mostly for metal roof and wall, we see the exposed one because we see the flashing exposed to all the weather and you see the line in the green design. Right. So these are some examples to show you uh, what is the flashing. Right. We go into detail on each uh, standard flashing method. Right. Let's see. So let's start with the standard steel roofing uh, flashing. So uh, for roof flashing, I think it's very straightforward that you need to show up the entire parameter of the roof. Uh. So because as I mentioned, you're putting your roofing sheet onto your structure, whatever the opening area, the small area you need to seal it up, otherwise the water will get in. So uh, actually, in general, you see the small uh, housing that has a lot of different technology that we call the power bill. So today is uh, just to highlight to you that uh, some technology that we use in the industry, maybe in the future when you communicate with, uh, with our people, we will easy to say, oh, this is the part they are looking for. They will say, oh, this is the top one, the top one, or the side one. 
some things are very like just to share with you that if you call something like that. So in general, we were having to find different uh, flashing for the roof. First one is a rich tapping, then B is a bunch, then apron, change of niche, and the very flash. I'll go through one by one to show you what's in the all right? Okay, so rich tapping, uh, rich between the, the top of the roof, all right? So it's a group A. So we have a rich tapping. You can see in this uh, small uh, on the sketch here, the smaller. Okay, this is a rich tapping. Okay, but the detailing that you use for rich actually can use for the heat also. Okay, but just bear in mind that you must be very careful on the angle because every angle that you you find uh, wrong, you cannot install on side. You have to just uh, give it back to the to the factory and, and, and plan it again for for installation, right? So for of course all the detailing will come in standard detail. This is a standard detail from from Mason, right? So for the standard detail, you will see a lot of uh, so called how to install it or some detail there. So just bear in mind that uh, when you in the certain circumstances that when you call and the projector engage and other people coming. They cannot use the same standard detail and form because different no formal or the specialists they have a different way to detail it because detailing is more on the uh, so called the the, the detailing of art uh, it's kind of the way they how to see everything so if you, if you change the the, the, the the specialist they need to come out another detailing for that All right so this one have to be careful if you don't share to use that it may be just just ask for a video or what because you're saying that I can't, I can't do it this way. I have to do it that way. If we're not pushing on this, I then have to pick it with you. So uh, just be careful on that. When you have a standard detail from a specialist, you need to uh, keep it on for that. Right? So just to show you some of the example where it's located for the bridge heat, and this is how the way we call it. Right? And batch prepping. Batch prepping is mostly is uh, uh, parallel to the rainwater drainage direction. So as you can see here, it's a uh, it's parallel to the rainwater drainage direction. So in this isometric drawing, you see a joint here, right? So just to share with you, is for the roofing sheet, you can roll it out with a certain length that uh, according to the roof design. But for flashing, you cannot because we are limited by the press branding mesh, uh, machine, the facilities. I think uh, the longest one in the industry maybe not get past six meter, but normally what we do for the flashing, we only can do it with a two meter or maybe shorter than that. So what you can do is you link and piece by piece to join together. So the the the, the skill or and also the detailing of the of the flashing very important. If the joint is not doing right or they install it wrongly in the sequence, it cause the water leakage or so. Right? Which left in for each? Uh, this one according to a center actually talk about very right? okay. Yeah, but normally you can be shot uh, based on the, the root gradient. Yeah. So uh, just bear in mind that you see the dimension here, right? A and B. So why do you specify A and B for the flashing detail? Like because different roofing shape or different roofing profile, we have a different different dimension. So again, that uh, when you're using a certain roof profile for your building design, you then assume that the, this particular batch detail can be used for whatever profile that you, that you change. For example, if you use a, a screw fix profile, then you change to consume fix, then you need to change the detailing of the of the of the flashing unit because it can't fit together. So the A and B will be changed according to the profile that you select. Right? And this is a detailing, this is another special detailing to show you that you will see the difference between two, right? On the left hand side, there's a cap on top of the profile. You see the profile here, then you tap it on, right? But why this one doesn't have? So that's why this is a message to be able to is to carefully assume that the, the detailing will be the same for all kinds of profile. For this is a ceiling detail, uh, this is a sand detail from recent. Then you have a ceiling detail, you don't have a captain, but you need to bend another piece, like similar to the location, shift, then you seam it together. So the detailing will be totally different, right? For this arch captain. So just to show you some of the example that how we call it in this uh, in the yeah, so for the uh, batch tapping. So this all is called batch tapping, which is parallel to the rainwater drainage direction, right? You may check that. 
Okay, now it's talking about the temporary flashing actually is skirting. So it's skirting. Skirting which means that around the wall, the wall can be brick wall, can be concrete wall, but it's skirt around all the metal roof. Huh? But there will be a two types. First type what we're going to share with you called perpendicular to the wall, which means that you see in this diagram. The roofing sheet actually perpendicular to the wall here. So it's again, it's uh, against to the rainwater direction. So this and this against to the rainwater direction. Yeah, so again, that you see the dimension A. Uh, to be careful because sometimes it change according to the profile and the time and the gradient. So just to share with you for this, because the roofing sheet will be uh, have a certain gradient when you touch the wall. So the, the splashing, this flashing, you need to bend it with a certain gradient that align to the, the roof gradient. Also. Right? And this is a detailing from the minister that uh, if you can see it in detail, you see something here, right? So this is very important. Because uh, we see some case that they have this kind of the flashing, the L shape, but they just put in the L shape and then put the ceiling here. Then unfortunately, when in the heavy rain, the ceiling give way, the water starts to sit in at the at the area that then go into the raw wood and all the roofing sheet over the building. And this is not covered under warranty. Yeah. So be careful of that. So that's why that always when you have a skirting or a reference fashion, you need to have cut the roof and tuck in the, the fashion so that the water will easily sit in. So this is very important. And the other one is parallel to the wall. So between that, the skirting or the pepper is running parallel to the rainwater drainage direction. The detailing will be exactly the same as just now I showed it to you. But the difference is because this one you don't need to have a angle, you can make it flat because this one is parallel to the drainage direction. So this one will be flat. So your your fashion is it colorblind also, or it can be is it a little color colorblind? Yeah, yeah, this is a method that we try to follow. Mm -hmm. is you use colorblind, you better use like colorblind because otherwise they will be having a lot of problems. I'll show you in the last session. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, so this uh just to show you the standard detail of it. And this is some example. So you see that uh this is a uh, the parent, uh, sorry, perpendicular to the wall, perpendicular, and this is a parent to the wall. This is an example of the skirting when you have a so-called brick wall or a concrete wall, right? And change of pitch. So change of pitch is when you have a two different stroke, you have a one stroke gradient and the other one, then you need to have a change of pitch uh, flashing. So the good thing for this uh, change of pitch flashing is sometimes maybe you have a different type of material for roof. Like for example, on the right hand side, on top is a tile roof, then the bottom is a long length steel roof. Then you can use a uh, change of pitch flashing to divert the water from the top to the bottom, All right? So the detailing is how it looks like, and the angular bit is very important. If you do it wrong, similar to what I mentioned for the for the bridge capping, you can't really do anything on site. You need to just stomp it and redo it. So the angular is very important on that. And also the dimension A is also according to the profile and the detailing design. All right. Okay, this is some of the examples to show you the bridge fashion. So if if you have a steel worker and your orientation of the roof is good enough, actually you also can only change of pitch. What does it mean is you can see in this bottom. Mm -hmm. You see in this roofing line, right? if the steel worker can help you to orientate the roofing sheet, just ngang 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 between the profile and profile, actually you can save the change of reflection by using this detail. This is a detail from Wilson. But, and that, but you need to be careful is to have a big pen uh, profile that you use, you need to do band up. Uh, then you may need to have a B form to learn. You just band up. Yeah, you can do the band up, but you need to put in the mm -hmm. form also to, to against the water back flow. So this one you need to take one if you want to save on for the change of deflection, right? And so when it flashing, when it flashing is a bit different from change of pitch that just now is uh, the the water will flow in the uh, same direction but different angle, right? But when it flashing is the uh, two direction come together, 
So we also call it as a, a kind of vector that carry the water away from, from top to the bottom. But uh, this is a picture, and I again, I'm very, very important. But sometimes this is very tricky uh, because uh, when you have a big roof, very huge roof, and you have a very uh, gutter area, people tend to walk on it because you see the big area flat and you tend to walk on it. So in that case, you really need to do that, you maybe need to have underline spot it so that you wouldn't dampen or damage the uh, very flashing. So this is a standard uh, view just to show that how, how we install it and what the support is. So and this is uh, some of the example I'll show you where the very flashing is. Okay. So normally for very flashing is something that have a kind of special design of the room, uh, different than okay. okay, so come to here the key consideration when you use a uh, roof flashing is just like you mentioned that uh, different profile, you need to have a different material, right? So now I want to show you an example why I'm saying that. Let's say uh, on top of this, the top the left, you have this profile, and you have a capping uh, flashing that I particularly need to for this profile, right? Let's say suddenly I'm thinking that oh, I don't want this profile anymore because of maybe budget issue or maybe the aesthetic issue or the changing. So you need to change the material. Otherwise, you will see something like this. It doesn't match at all. Actually, the exactly same bunch between, but it doesn't fit to other profile. So this is very important that when you change the profile, you need to ask for the detail for the particular uh, profile of uh, uh, fetching detail, and you cannot just reuse it. All right. Okay, now we done on the roof. Now we talk about the wall. For wall, it's uh sometimes we call it different name now. Uh, Call it wall fashion, but sometimes we call it tree more moldings. Uh, but no matter is uh, how you call it for wall detailing or the fashion of each is because of the eye level. So most of the time, especially I think architecture, you know, something on the eye level you need to do it better than whatever is in the ivory tower. So you will see that the wall fashion sometimes more uh, smaller, and you have uh, some tricky way to treat it more differently, so that you can present differently when you look at the eye level. All right, so this is some of the example, but uh, of course, then for, for wall flashing, you have a different kind, like aluminum or rubber or other, other extruded material. But today, we just focus on steel. So, similarly to the roof, we have three standard flashing video. We call it as an external corner flashing, internal corner flashing, and also each of button flashing. So the example is shown in this uh, here. I will go through one by one to show you how to do it. So for the standard external corner fashion, is how it looks like external, which means that uh, the particular fashion is facing to outdoor, right? And normally you can do it in a very simple way, this uh, bending, and you can, when, whenever you see the dimension A and B, it will change according to the profile. And be careful of that. And of course, we can do it very simple way. This is a standard detail from this. We also can do it that way. That's why I keep on uh, mentioning this now. The detailing is kind of an art. How we can detail it will to seal out the, the water passage at the same time to present it uh, in aesthetically. So this is external corner detailing for the standard one. But of course, we also can do it in a special shape. But this one, you have to check with your specialist or the role former whether their capacity can do it. Because mostly when uh, most, like so I mentioned, on the flashing is based on bending, right? The bending is based on the pressure tooling, which means the sharp, the sharp uh, bending uh, tool to bend the compound for the So if they find the tooling, they can do this kind of thing to you. If otherwise, this cannot be done. Now. Okay, just to show you the type one is similar to the standard one, but the chamfer it to make it a bit different in terms of the presentation. And maybe you can have uh, type two, which is trying to cover the spot. Sometimes you have a vertical spot, right? If the weather is big or small, you would like to cover it. So this one can be done unless the, the press break tooling is, is available. And also another one, type three, is uh, you still have this kind of so called the cover of the spot, but because your support is oriented diagonally, you need to shamble it. But this one is the most typical one because you have a very sharp. Very sharp uh, corner here. The bending will be a bit tricky, like that, based on the skill operator and the tooling to do it. And tap four and tap five, the one which uh, straight together is this is a bit different. It's 
This detail you will use it when you have a different uh, step, different time of the solution of the work. Let's say uh, you install the holes, oh, sorry, the, the bottom wall first, based on some reason that you can't really do it this for this uh top for the top wall, then you use this kind of detailing that you can just do it first. Maybe you give it another days or weeks, then you install the other one. This one is no problem, but there's a risk to use a uh, type four and five is because you just have to rely on the sealant to sweep out the water passage. If the sealant give way, then you may probably. And also for type four, if you have a problem of the orientation, I will show you later on how, how, how to solve it. So internal corner is uh, quite similar to what you see on the external, uh, but uh, the bandit will be a bit different, it will be like this. Uh, but you can see the difference on the uh, left bottom two graphic here, right? So one is totally uh, in touch with the wall, but the other one is a little bit pushed up. So because that, uh, you see the leaves here, right? Sometimes you can do the notching on the leaves so that they can fit it very perfectly to the uh, roofing for all the issues. But what is notching, I will show it to you. Okay, so this for the roof, but it's similarly for the wall. Notching, which means that on the on the on the leaves itself, you try to cut out the hole so that it can fit into the, the, the ribs of the profile that you use. So we call it as notching work. So if the flashing is notching, you can see that it can fit it very uh, fitly to the profile itself. You don't see any holes. But if you do not have the notching, you will see the holes here. Then you need to do something to seal it up like that. Putting the deform or doing the flashing with the set to do similar. Okay, so similar to the external, actually you can do a special uh, detailing, but also based on the press tooling that available. Type one is uh we just just now you see the lips, right? But this one is totally one independent either. So yeah, this is another uh, tooling that you need. And another one is uh, to seal up the splot. Similarly to the last support, you will do it that way. All right. All right. So come to the standard edge and the button flashing. So when it comes to here, for for when you use this detailing, there will be two reasons here. Sometimes it's, uh, when the wall design you make it continuously for the whole wall, maybe a bit boring, right? Sometimes you design try to break it in between. So then this detailing is getting. Or you have a two different profile, only one side you want to use one profile, the other one you use the other profile, then a button uh, which you have to be used. Okay. So they will be having uh, two types. One is uh, you see it's a flash to the wall, and the other one is the trip out. But you see the red color here, right? The red color actually is a form pillar. So whenever you orientate the steel wall horizontally, you are advised to look. Use a formula, otherwise, the water may be seen. All right. Okay, also, for, we can do a special uh, detailing for the bucking detailing, like you can do it in a, in a sharp shape, like what you see here. And also, we can do it in a butt to butt in that case. Okay. This one also got a risk, as I mentioned, this one is similar to, to the detailing of I mentioned this one of the uh, uh, internal corner flashing. If you have a butt to butt, you only can rely on the sealant to seal up all the wall position. So you must be careful on that if you use that. A key consideration. So similarly to the roof, if you change the profile for your wall, you must request for the detail for the profile that you use. You cannot use like the old one. And another one is do not make open end at both ends if the product is oriented horizontally. So what does it mean? I will show to you that for all the row form production, if you have a long length of the profile that you use, they always have a tolerance in length. Okay, the longer of the profile, the longer uh, tolerance they can be. Okay, for example, let's say in this case, it doesn't take to 10 meters, the tolerance is talking about maybe uh, plus minus 10. So if you use this detailing, as you see this, you will have open end, right? You see all this open end, the red color pointed here. You should from, from outside, you see on that, you see the, the edge of the profile on the roofing sheet. If you're oriented horizontally, you may have a problem on this because the edge of the line will be slightly different. 
The worst is if you use a different bag for the solution. So you will see a little, this is a bit accelerated for the presentation, and you see some gap opening there. So you always uh, advise that if you want to do use an open uh, open end detailing, at least we'll just do it one side, the other side you should cover in another fashion so that to avoid this kind of so called uh, unpresentable uh, scenario. Well, then, then we don't uh, no, this is the orange sign. So we change oh, orange. Yeah, orange. Okay, so come to custom fashion. Custom fashion between all the non-standard. That just I'm going to show you is all the so-called standard fashion. Now I show you so-called the non-standard one. Non-standard between you change the shape, dimension, and also the thickness. And maybe sometimes you see the pepper or curl, and you see the the, the, the top one that put it box cutter. Your box cutter wouldn't be standard. You always have to change the size according to your roof area. So you, that's not also customized as a custom flashing. Okay, so type of flashing is when you have a up roof or the curved roof, then you maybe sometimes you want to do it in a type of flashing to cover the structure, right? So this is a so called a special uh, flashing that you use. But just be careful, it's, you see the, 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 the left hand side diagram here. You have A, B, C, and E, F, right? So this is very important that, uh, let's say if you want to do it during the cell, then you want to ask whether, let's say you, listen, you can do it or not. You cannot just give the one side of the dimension for that. You need to give two side dimension and the length, then only the initial A for it, because the, the dimension will be different even at home. from one side to the other side. You need to give two side of the dimension to that, and the length that will check for you whether you do or cannot be done. And for curve, we have two types. Curve flashing, we have uh, on the left hand side, it's called cream curve. Cream curve is very straightforward, I'm just shortening the material to make the radius. The good thing for using the cream curve is you can do it in very small radius. But uh, if I take, like, you see those lines, I think most of the architects don't really like this kind because you see a lot of lines on the cream. But this is the only way to, done, to be done for the small radius curve. Then the other one is um, is is a bit better in the sanitation is a sanitized curve. So this one we use a small length joint together according to the roof design. So uh, just like I mentioned, when you do the flashing, you can do it three meter kind of like the standard length. This one will be shorter uh, because you need to do the sanitize piece by piece to curve it accordingly. So this is sanitized curve. And the third one is a three dimension. So I think later, last idea will show some detail uh, how, how it does it looks like. So this one is just to divert the water from the big opening to the edges of the pan so that it can drain out effectively. But when you use a uh, trim flashing, you must always from the ridge all the way down to the opening. You cannot just halfway here, then do the trim flashing. So the reason is, uh, if you not do trim flashing, or you do it halfway not from the ridge, you collect all the debris from the dirt. Eventually, you will collect all the so called the, the water points somewhere with the deteriorate or material master. So, the drain flashing always from the way to the opening, drain out of the field, and you walk on it. Uh, if you have another spot, so sometimes some, some uh, roof owner that will use another piece of the profile, it will be, then we put, it, uh, put on the drain flashing so that people can open it. Yeah. So it's based on the detailing that you want. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, the rubber fashion, I'm going to get the detailers to show you that in a small opening, uh, I think most of the time they already always call it as a tactile or kind of a support the rubber, so called stocking fashion. So this one is mainly for the for the wet post, wet line, right? And box cutter, as I mentioned, it always is no standard one because it's to be changed according to your design. For big roof area, of course, we need to design big one. For residential, maybe you have a smaller, smaller one. So this one is always different. So, but uh, just to share that most of the time you want to have A, B, C, but not A, B, A. La. Because you have a pre board maybe just only for one side, you only have both sides. All right, so sometimes based on the design, you're not ready to have a so called the same dimension on both sides. Okay, now come to the rainwater goods. 
Okay, uh, this one is, I mean, in general, I just collect all the water from the roof to dispose it effectively from the from the discharge point. Okay. So sometimes, based on the little that you want, if you want to have facial, you also can do it accordingly. But most of the time that uh, for general one for the leaf cutter, we do not have the facial uh, for the cost of quick. Okay, so this is come to the philosophy of the design. Because I believe most of the time when I didn't come out of the drawing, uh, people still ask you uh, where is the leaf cutter was assigned really to me and uh, where is the time so that uh, I can design the thing accordingly, right? So this is just to uh, have a guideline to you that uh, how the thing is designed so that when you design the gutter or the frame of the downline position, you can have some idea how to do it. So uh, you can see the philosophy here, right? The three philosophies, when you have a bigger catchment area, you need to have a bigger gutter, right? Then if you need to have a less discharge point, for example, most of the time, the discharge point is controlled by the opening right? window, door, or shutter, whatever the thing you block, the thing you don't want to have a gutter there, or sorry, downline there. So if, if you need to have a, a less discharge point on downline, then you need to prepare the bigger gutter. But then another thing is you want to have a smaller downline, you don't want to have a very huge downline to affect the aesthetic, then you also have to prepare to have a bigger gutter. So in other words, is uh, there's a so called ratio between both. Uh, so if you have a uh, more discharge point, you can design the spare the area for the other uh, smaller. All right. So this is how to, how it works. I think later on, uh, when it comes to scientific part, we will more teach you how we come up with So in downline design, first thing is, uh, of course, aesthetic, whether you want to choose a smaller, bigger, round, or rectangular. Then the other one is this one is small, be careful. Is, you cannot have the downline size exactly the same as the width of the cutter. You always need to have some certain buffer so that you can connect it effectively. So scenario B is the most uh, preference way so that you can fit the cutter effectively, sort of fit the downline in a little cutter. And importantly, is uh, I'm not sure sometimes you guys or other engineers will calculate the thing for you. Just be careful is uh, no matter your based on whatever international standard calculation, then would we'll consider the market offer. So for example, let's say you have a calculation, you buy the top by 75 mm diameter. Then you design 95 mm based on scenario B, and then you design the cutter accordingly. It doesn't really wrong in the international design standard. But the problem is you can't really get 95 mm diameter top by in the market, then it's a problem. So always that when you get a calculation, you need to check on uh, whether the downline side is logical. If not, then you maybe need to push it back and say, hey, this is not of uh, so-called the normal offer in the market. Please change the coin. Okay. Okay, this is my last part. It's just to share with you uh, uh, the one you mentioned about what is the consequence that you use a different material for the flash. Okay, so I think this is most of the time that your client or our client will always think that uh, because they always think that they buy 95% coverage of my real credit treatment product. Uh, the small part I just can take it easily for any material. I, I can save cost on that. But they maybe forget that this, the purpose of the two components is different. For the main group, the 95% actually is served for the purpose to do not have the perforation, the long term service, and also making the load, especially the window. But the flashing is taking another purpose to seal off the wall of the situation. So, two different purposes, and uh, it's, it's equally important, but you cannot just treat it because it's just 95% uh, and just can use any product. So, there will be a problem on that if you use a different product on the, on the flashing compared to the main load that you use. So, the impact of it will be. If you use different material, of course, the weak one will be easily sacrificed by the strong one. So what does it mean? I will just show you the top one. So there will be a minimalization in between two materials. Light time will be different. Then second one will be outlaw. Outlaw which means that two different materials install at the same time, but aged differently. So when the time comes, then maybe the time will be better. How come by flashing? And the main road and color is different after some time. So this will be a problem on that. 
So cannibalization in between bacteria. So this paper actually we extract from the AS1562 Australian standard, but we also have a technical book in each file. If you would like to look at this, you can just contact us anytime we will have to share with you what kind of bacteria can actually each other. So the, the logic is very important. If you will be very simple, the, the logic is you will refer to the right top, the production table, always uh, this active bacteria will sacrifice or cannibalize the uh, most active uh, bacteria. For example, if you have a stainless steel together with the iron, iron will corrode us. So as you can see in the bottom uh, right photo here, this is a very classic example of cannibalization. You see the vertical pole with a uh, white color and this particular board here is all in a good condition. But what's surrounding it, the fencing, and this uh, still all corroded even the, the smoke here. So because of the cannibalization of the of the vertical pole to the other one. So this is what happens if you use different material. So this is some of the example. Let's say for example, you use a very uh, flashing with uh, another material really for first pepper, or maybe another so-called special tube to cover the, the, the holes that you don't want to do notching. Another one like this kind of flashing to cover the big opening. The worst is uh, the last uh, two, which is the uh, right top and bottom. You see the ridge already uh, already the ridge cutting and even the pattern. Okay. And the worst is not only for the uh, uh, sorry, the flashing material that you use, the boat. If you use it a different boat for the installation. You also will see this how a bad example will happen. And come to the color fading. So if you use different material together, the color fading will be differently. So sometimes you will see the flashing will be uh, color fit first, or you see some chopping happening, but the roofing sheet is still in the good condition. So then we will have difficulty to change it if this happen, right? Okay, so conclusion, just to check that uh, for the uh, flashing material, you will be having the roof flashing, wall flashing, and custom flashing is very generic. And uh, some flashing, the same flashing material cannot be uh, used in between different profiles. You change the profile, you just ask for the new uh, material. And real water tools, it depends on the catchment area, aesthetic, how you want to present it, the gutter size, the gutter capacity. And the risk of the incompatible material put together, which is the weight material, will be deteriorated faster. And uneven color fitting on each uh, differently. And the color shopping may happen also based on the, the, the deferral thinking and on gear. All right. So, in conclusion, the message for you to take away is let's say you see this book, uh, gentleman, this gentleman, and this lady in a good gown and suit, right? The material is very good. Everything is good. It's so presentable. But if you think that okay, I use all the budget for the main material, I have to save some cost somewhere. So I use a so-called second tier of the trip to sew it together. So I think this is the last thing you want to see. Huh? It's still not presentable, even though it's a good material, good gown, good suit, but you really start wearing it open up. So this is similarly to water to finish uh, uh, walling. If you have a using the premium product, but it's just saying that I just leave it, I can use a other flashing uh, material or material, then you still not accept it. Right? So that's it for my presentation. So I will now open the floor for the QA. If you have any question or you want to share any, any uh, support project that you're working on, any experience for you also can. Yeah. First question. Yeah. Uh, when you have a party wall, when we have a party wall, say we usually it will turn nine inch. So if we have a flashing like that, yeah. so you have a traffic. Yeah. If you can provide traffic possible better. And, and we, we, we should have a traffic corner on our website. Because uh, that one you definitely need to see it out. Otherwise, for first it's an aesthetic presentation. As a second, you also try the one you want to see. You have that? Yeah. Let's check the problem. How about the uh, when we're installing the roof? Uh, uh, we, we have the uh, 
And then you uh, you transfer it with transfer. Yeah. Those transfer is it same color? That one will be uh I would normally would use a C uh, C3 or C4 one thing that's uh true. Yeah, which you have a gas in between. Uh you mean talk about the the rubber suit? That's okay. I'm I'm worried about like kind of the white vision. Yeah, you know, what is that uh the different material which you connect to each other in my cross, right? Yeah. So you have anything in between. I mean, you, but on the screw, you, can, you, you can't have it in color or whatever. Oh, no, we, we, are, we are using the class 3 or class 4 one on the inner um, okay. screw. That one is a so called, is and so called, is so called in part or in part presentation of the mini corrosion as a student who color bond. But we are right, it's also like rubber seal, but that one is more closely for the. Uh, to seal out the water passage and you draw up the water I'm uh, sorry, yeah, seal. Yeah. Yeah, so this is uh, how you use water screw. Yeah. So of course I mentioned just now for the screw selection. Uh normally uh, like for example, you listen that specify what kind of screw to be used. Of course, if they want to change it, then you better go back to the screw strategy and see whether it's it's a part. Because sometimes they'll just say, oh, this one is a similar, but maybe not. So yeah, you get a spec seven and this you have any table for like a calculation mm -hmm. of the, uh, the side of uh, the cash and whatever? Yeah, right now, now that we can refer in. You know, the, the interesting part will be my side. You, you share the uh, spreadsheet how to do it. Okay, thank you. Any more questions? Uh, one question, like, let's say, uh, what's your view of the prime ones to incorporate uh, solar? Mm -hmm. So this will be under uh um, bars, other libraries, which you will be incorporated on the rules. Yeah. Because now the needs of being as gone is more like to low vision, but the things needs for operation of PI and all that. So solar room has picked up very uh, uh very common, very uh uh normal to have, but it's been integrated when the sports will be on that. Yeah, um <laughs> For solar room, I think it's uh, that you're right and not one common now. So actually, what we always uh, suggest to the client uh, that is always looking for the consumer room profile when you intend to install the solar panel on top. Because the consumer room profile, you can get any so-called consumer plan that you don't need to do through the existing roof or the installation of solar panel. So that will reduce uh, the penetration on the roof that cause the water deficient. So of course, uh, if you use people will tell them, oh, I use a screw fixed uh, but that I still can install solar panel. Yes, but there will be a lot of drilling here that um yeah, you have to install uh not really but consumer they will can use it single layer also, depends on property. Yeah, yeah. So uh, of course for the Installation of solar panel, we will be having a so called technical policy that says there's a guideline for the uh, client or that to so called assess and whether your PC converter do the right thing. Otherwise, there will be a problem that they install everything, then the problem that when we come in, let's say you say, well, I check it, or oh, sorry, this one is against our policy, it's quite a warranty. So we have to be careful. And uh, if you need any guideline, you will share your. I So the plan uh, is actually off the shelf, it's really the same plan. So the the manufacturers or the solar manufacturers should have that plan into themselves. But let's go with basic what Chao mentioned uh, uh, towards the last of the as long that the the material they use, the similarity, I think most of it is now is a student plan by a union company. I think you can see that I mean, uh, whether it's available to the school in the first place, if it's okay, yeah. then there's no issue. Yeah, when we talk about what we say, we say what's bad. What I'm going to say again, if you have anything that they, they are doing, uh, they usually use school fixing. Uh, currently, only school fixing today, then they have somebody who use solar and they have some city. So yes, you can screw on, provided that the screw has to be a plastic transport that is compatible uh, to be used. Uh, but again, the 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 the, the dark side of it, because there will be two mixtures. 
the panel, solar panel are we have we have seen they have not expected to do it. I call it national respect. They see this way, you know, at the end. Uh, I always say in my experience, uh, when, when the Sindhu of the Bangladeshi or the Pakistani oh, people in the kitchen, they put more cup of the side of the day. You know, it's so we did the part, the first one to go all in, the second kind of we are become the case. So as far as you can say, solar panel is an issue, as long as the contact between the accessories, between the roof, material, should not be issued. And it's, it has to be properly, properly, uh, properly installed. I think many cases in, in, in my experience, uh, using similar for the uh, Calamon uh, product from the school. Everybody, especially in Bio 1, is Bio 1. Yeah. So, if I'm not so smart in the sense that they say, I will use Stainless Steel School because I've been using Stainless Steel School. But as you know, Stainless Steel School is a normal thing to be So, it doesn't match that. It could be racist. Against Stainless Steel School. So, it, it is something that you have, guys, but they said it's not the guideline, it's full of. I think that it doesn't affect the, the, the performance, it doesn't affect the happiness of the product. So, uh, how, how do we make sure that your guarantee does not expire or because of the work? Yeah, how do we guarantee that? Yeah, the soil exercise I mentioned, uh, actually, we are happy to share with you about the technical. That, that, does it mean that you will put in your people to supervise? No, no, we will put in a guideline for you. We will get one guideline for you and just pass it to, to your contractor. To ensure that they will do the thing accordingly. Yeah, because if you give them the thing in advance, you're saying that this policy you cannot, cannot do on site, but they still do it, then yeah, the thing is all right. So we will give you the guideline and uh, how we so called assess the, the, the roof when you install the solar panel. Yeah, so this guideline. The same thing with uh, your observation of flashing all those hardware. Do you also have items of hardware and like, of fixing all the panels on the roof? Because you yeah, know, in order to, to make sure that your guarantee lasts, mm -hmm. that means there are items that you need to specify yeah. in order to make sure that that that, that, that it works. That's I, I I think it's going back to installation. I think first and foremost, the procedure, the top of procedure so it's, it's why it's, uh, improve the best of issue of warranty and guarantee, guarantee to different things, and only which to different words. So, uh, in terms of issuing the warranty on this road, unfortunately, there are thousands of projects around the country. These people cannot check every one of them. The most important thing, I think, select a good manufacturer who follows the rules, and they will introduce you a good installer, which is Kim uh, Polo's. And understand the rules. If I can say, uh, use a class four, uh, class four or schools, you don't use this, you don't use this. Um, uh, another example, maybe that we have mentioned to them do not use uh, uh, grinders to cut your roof and handles, right? So, they don't know, I don't know. They don't have any care of their project in them, not me, very heavy. But there's a guideline as long as the main members able to, to check that these uh, roofers or these soldiers do the guidelines. That should be okay. And that warranty will be issued without any criteria in social sense. Yeah. So it's a form that what kind of school that you use everything. But we, we can't guarantee kind of set. But it is it is the job for the for the the owners all the way to the contractors, which you don't. I will give you one of my first slide, my later and my presentation. What is the concern? Which is actually concerning the architects. Ah, so the example that like you always say the hardware shop. You mentioned hardware shop. You buy a material from me, which is a brand of your own game. Due to cost, they probably try to cheat. Blue panel from them, blue panel from hardware shop is blue panel. So eventually it's two different types of material. One is from Kappa, the other one is from Vietnam, or the Vietnam. So that's where the problem starts. I think everybody has their own responsibility to understand. Get it right from your specifications and get it right from the contractors. I think I have seen many uh, cases that this it happened, really happened. I said, you don't use grinder, you don't use grinder. Oh, senang pak lagi, cepat lagi, ini, lagi, kos, nak lecah, ada tumuh, banyak, cepat, pilih, macam-macam, all kind of thing. 
So, but that happened because of that happened, nobody in control. The same thing that we have issued with people that said, while well, you ask us to apply this, apply that, pay this, pay that, pay. but when it comes to enforcement, it's a good enforcement. There's a group of Vietnam coming in without being checked. Maybe, maybe the best approach is to tell the solar and solars. And you, you wouldn't be the group if you are doing Absolutely. Uh, I, I think uh, uh, the duty of some sort, I think, you know, we, we, we've been consulted by clients. They said, hey, hey, Daddy, I want to put solar on top. Sure. What, what is your recommendation? You see? Basically, we know that solar panels, they have their own system. So okay. when you in, okay, you tell them, this is what you should use, this is what you can do. The rest are up to you. I think, I think the... The best approach is just to tell the solar people you have to warranty my own, otherwise, don't do it. I think so. I'm very good at solar. I don't want to be a I don't want to be a warranty. 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 I don't want to so uh you have to spend houses for your group, then you can expect some money to actually put it. So it's it's up to you, it's up to what you have to visit the position. You should you should know that I will mean, room over there. I'm not making whatever comes in, step on my room, must be as responsible as the way they look at. That, that's what I'm saying. I mean, you put you put back to the installer or who comes in second. We might not know who the installer anyway. That doesn't matter who. You just have to tell that. You have to tell the client, for example, the, the owner, yeah. to say that if you don't have the installer, I recommend that you tell the installer people they have to warranty the home. And I think what I'll say is that the owner has to do the warranty. The owner has to do the warranty. The owner has to do the warranty. Yeah. So that means you are aware, aware that the architect or at least the owner, then they should have, they have thought that that that's the right. I think that part may because uh, something doing wrong is very unfair. Okay, we need to put the employees warranty. Yeah, not not not. We're factoring the engineer. Tell me, twenty four months, twenty six months after that, there are no more responsibility. Other, so you see, here we see people twenty five years. Also, we have the warranty for life. Exactly. Yeah. So, 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 I don't know who's going to do that. 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 I no more. So the EDC convention actually is so called into two different goals. Like just one is electrical and the first is kind of a civil or everything. So we also wish to have a super educational level to the all the EDC contractors on this stuff. We still haven't really get a platform to share with them. So now it's rely on the building. So some building owner actually is very 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 alert. They will just say, Oh, I want to be solved, I need to call back to the manufacturer to check first before I do. But some is people too excited because it's like, well, as I imagine. So excited, I need to install solar panel. I can pay 10 PC collector. PC collector soon do everything, even we don't know. But when things happen, they call you, hey, uh, Lusu, can you come and check? Rusted already. Then we come, oh, sorry. I can't really go for it because of this thing. So, uh, yeah, we still try to get on that form so that we can share to the, to the mass audience in different words and that this thing needs to be helpful. We're not saying that whatever you want to do, you can just do it for the solar panels. So uh, we try, but uh, still not yet. So we just try to share with you all this. Maybe also one of the channels that you can share with your owners and they say you don't play player. You better get the people to come and check or advise you whether they can do it. So this uh, currently we can do it to share it with the uh, audience like that. Or other IEM or body that we know. Yeah. 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 So that one we have a way. I know it's separate. Uh, how much do you want to take this question for separate copper? You you want it? Yeah, because uh, we have a way to kind of separate it. But I think I, I, I think this is what we call a sex piece. Like you know, any subject today, they're all about sex piece. 
So in the unison, we, we do a bit of uh, R and D. What we need, uh, you know, copper, right? That's the reason that our printing is necessary to move on into it. So what we do is a uh, good manufacturers uh, like us. We have R and D, but we need to use the digital, digital uh, thing. We could click here. You don't have to punch through. You actually be molded on. Then your your lining has a copper should actually install on top of these things. So that is actually other accessories. Is a uh, even even though they put the top, it's full to be a separate. Like, it is a rubber, rubber, rubber thing. Yeah. It is it is damaged on this part. You see, two or three, maybe five years down the road, this thing is going to change. You only change the balance, I think, the technique rather than the roof, right? So this is in the something that uh, a performer will, will actually do R and D what they want to do. You know that kind of things. So uh, in our side, we do have a few free box system, the bounty, the any accessory. Uh, and um, again, if you do that, it's the same as like solar panel. As long as it's sustainable, you don't touch my roof, you don't screw on my roof, I'm happy. You know, you, you, you keep on touching everything, nothing, such a reason. So, in, in, in a similar way, you say that, like, you know, it's my roof, you keep on touching everything, and it's no way, man. Right? So, I think uh, the time matter, maybe we can have a tea break first, yeah. then we can come back. Uh, just now, I think we still have the uh, download of the public participation period. The stock tradition, January to 29th February. Okay, uh, they are looking out for them to scan and then uh, uh, you can also perform on the any department. Okay, for that. Uh, okay, all then the uh, secretary to blast out, uh, you know, uh, those who will uh, to all members. Okay, you. All right, so I, yeah. Yeah, I just try to uh since to tell you that actually we have uh so called spray done today. If you just uh as see from this store, you see a QR code on the table, you just scan it. After you do the feedback the survey, we'll give you a team on that. So uh just maybe just help us to do the survey, then just call it and give you the right? <laughs> So we can go for the team right? Yes, I'm asking about what you read. The number. The number. Five two zero. Five two zero. Five two zero. Okay. Thank you. 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 Thank you for coming back. Um, <laughs> okay, uh, let's come back. I think Jana will touch uh, very much very clear on the campaign. What are they? Uh, I'll, I'll repeat a bit, like, a bit of additional information that we uh, Can anyone put uh, on the things? Jump, jump. 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 Okay, today, today, most important thing, uh, I would say, some uh, agenda that we uh, talk today about diffuse presentation, flashing with people and what Chiang Kai said just now. Uh, fundamental of the golden goods, the fundamental uh, thing, but it's not like the most of you guys have experience and know what to do. Then uh, the accessories, uh, that we are doing just now, some looking at the solar panel accessories on the lightning and accessories. Uh, two windows, project reference to what we have over here, a summary and create a quick one. All right, so this is the question. This is the question normally done by the QS, right? Am I right? But the QS has to extract from your drawings, right? So, what happened right now? What happened right now in that house uh, along his uh, last, uh, last slides, leading on compatibility of material? So basically, in the market, I just put that this is the, this is the real DQ mix in the market. If, if, if you notice that, I'm using, uh, like I said, when I'm promoting, I just put it in for to show that you're wrong. I'm not going to talk about people. Anyway, this is what the video is They put clearly a uh, uh, standard uh, with a green carbon, or or part, everything. Unfortunately, when it comes to flashing and getting, they start with the galvanized iron sheet as specified. Number 18 gauge flashing under the 10 mm You know what will happen? 
when tender at that time. So what happened is the contractor will get the roof in green color one and force it the brushing, which is can be a lot in Shiari. Right? So they will start until we are the text. Hey, you use the video, so it's probably ID to ID, then come back to you, it's a VO. So this is what happened in the market. It is not really specified. If you guys do your drawing, when you come to the brushing, please try to specify the brushing material to be similar as the material. I think it's possibility for you. For you guys also, it probably pass about to you guys. If you don't see anything, I just get a cut and paste, get a GI to be part of the brushing. So that's when the program down. Is go back everything, especially if you want cost eventually and also warranty, right? So, this is I would say every day, but mostly it's happened. But wherever that you work with your PS, please, please understand that this thing doesn't work, right? And I don't even know how that TS actually come up with a uh, 100 uh, three times pen, generator two times pens. I don't know what they do it, address room, over loop down, over the end. Where the roof actually is a split deck, but it's over two thousand. I don't know where they come from. <laughs> right? You see, you see the reality, right? This is this is this is the problem that's happening reality in the market right now. So we have to get it right. So the idea of today is it's, it's a report by report. People don't really look at it, but this is something that we have to look at it. Right? Actually, that's typical. You have to. Any case over here? So yeah. <laughs> so I have, I have a case whereby they have to put mineral fiber ceiling in the garbage collection compartment. Absolutely, that's happened. <laughs> that that that's happened. We have seen it. But I think in our case, I think this is more important. The one important highlight that I want to highlight was happening in the market. That everybody know this is this is what happening, right? Right. So again, because of that. Sharing that uh, slide just now. Once you start building the eye, it will go off first, they start borrowing first, and then eventually the whole warranty of the book is actually bought. Yeah. So it started from there, you should take this regard for the cost and building the consequences towards the end, they will go corroded faster than uh carbon material. So this is something that we should avoid if we have to understand. Okay, that's what today is happening. So, brushing and capping today, there are many names for why there is movement for brushing, people for capping, everything. That's the name. I think if you can put any name you want, like it can be anything. Yes, sir. Can we put forward to you the specification on roofing for you to check before we carry on with the tender? No. The last thing to make sure that warranty. I, I, I think to make, to make it short, to, to, to make it short, uh, as long that that as I said, your room, you you know that your room is a uh, is a uh, carbon. You just put it similar. It doesn't have to be specifically similar to the room material. It can be it can be simpler without no colors. It can be carbon with colors. It can be carbon XCD. It can be carbon uh mag. Can be carbon ultra. Uh, to make it simple, uh, it doesn't I think it doesn't have to be very specific. As long that. The uh, GS should understand that the room, the brushing material, the access material to be compatible with the room. I think it's just good enough. You send to me at least to go architect, then to me, and I think the line in the chip of me. I don't know. <laughs> but I think the idea, the idea that I want to have today is to understand what is right, what is wrong, and what to do, what not to do. Right? So that is for start. But anyway, that's why I want me to check my own things. Yeah, I can actually comment or we can comment, you know. Because that's teach me to come in respect, okay? We have the no problem. The QM yeah. asked the junior staff to do all this work. No man. Then uh, I have come across, I mean, 40 years of experience, I have come across QS selectiveness yeah. in specification, which I had to answer. Yeah. So this is the problem. Yeah. I, I think what we do here is it started to understand, especially for the years forget it, like young, 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 you look, yeah, the young architect to understand this is what we do to, to make sure things but but it's happened, things happen. As a young architect, I think they should understand this is what should be done in the future. Right? So uh any name on the brushing uh type of uh what what Xiao saying that the rich uh, actually commonly in the double issue. Right? 
as I said, this morning to some of said, we have a good rules for having the team that will still be eating. Especially something that we don't neglect to some extent that, you know, can be anything, like the you know, GI, whatever, as long as So, uh, a good machine, that later we will talk about what the, the cost optimization or how you do it. So, uh, you, you actually can get a uh, secure standard based on normally, different standard based on. But it's only done uh, in, in the doors, in the territories, and whatever. So, in the flashing, also, to, to make it neat, so, sometimes if you if you guys need to do a uh, proper drawing, uh, you, can, you, can, you, can, you can send to us uh, email, then we will provide uh, this uh, typical detailing for us. It might not be the, the one that you want, but you can you can change it uh, by by your 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 can your 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 designers just to accommodate what's your design. You got plenty can be thousand shapes in the event of site condition. I don't know what's your 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 structure size, your your printing size. It can be very yeah. So you can get anything, right? So plenty uh part of the same as the Exactly as I said, two things you can do. One is actually when I see similar, it should be the same thickness, same color, same material. Having said that, uh, when when you have a, a building, a basic that you want it to be more full, I can to say more so many things. When we get a thicker, when you bang into the shape, it looks more full. Sickness, no, they cannot think. Sometimes, for example, just now you have a room at 0.42 and then the empty. Your flashing should want to be 0.42 and the empty. Right? So, should we say not? So, say it under the same batches. We make sure that the tone follows to our same colors. So, that's one important thing. But of course, uh, being architects, I'm there for my room and be white, my flashing, I want to have a black lining. I cannot do so for room for one. Now, I'm not going to do this. 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 I'm not. Is it? So, the, the rest of the five times, I don't know what to do. Right? So, it is, uh, it should be the same thickness, same material, same form. At least, as I said, when you, you specify in your brushing cabinet to be similar at the room material, I think just good enough. I think it's understandable. It should be same thickness, same colors, same, uh, same, same uh, material. So, that, that will be the, the easiest one. Okay? So, uh, actually, the, the, the group line, some, uh, there's no thing that to asking, can you cap on top? You know, like party wall, you can do that. But normally, party walls can be when it comes to uh, patching, it looks sometimes easy, not straight, that kind of thing. So, you might not like it, you just want to finish it, just a simple parapet wall, but it has to be done properly. A good cutting group there and then the you know slot in for procedure. Now um, it has to be a problem probably. Uh, right. Uh notching uh banking design, I think uh very two quite quite big one. So uh uh bashing slot that the notching you follow the profile of your group to, to make sure that uh uh the water has not back flow, I call it back flow. Or most of the material that not actually close up the gap between the, the ridge, uh, the, the, the belly and the, and the rib. Sometimes uh, birds can come in or sarang, they cannot be. So it is good to get. Uh, it's going to be held for the disorder and cut every piece of it. But well, it's, it's what needs to be done, it's to be done. So once you have that, you look at if you, you look at that that, that it goes up, especially if it's going to come in, it looks even nicer and neat and everything. And uh, it's most most nothing that you guys are looking for because uh, some of the of the flashing were done poorly. You know, when how you look, your flashing poor, there's there's no point, right? Right, trade flashing, all right. So this is this is one one of the one of the things that we say this is a clean carbon ultra, it's an expensive material. But uh, once we completed the, the road, the uh, owner suddenly didn't want to put a, a, a ventilator on it. So so we have told them that you want to put a ventilator, you should use the same material compared to but I guess they just don't want to research the cost issue. 
and and if you look at it, it's first it's ugly instead of using this kind of thing that the first one that they follow, but the second one they didn't follow. Then eventually the quality is fine. Maybe like that. <laughs> so yeah, we can make it. Right, so uh, uh, especially the train flashing is actually quite big in order for you to to move from one side to the side when there's a maintenance. If you step in, actually it will start to 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 bend and pass. So a, a proper a proper uh train ventilator actually you you should put uh, actually a layer of plywood or something like hard support to make sure that if you step on it, uh, it, it will it will not bend and it will not damage. Because you, you have to let every, every, you know, like it, it kind of thing, if you have joints, then you, it, it comes, you step on the joint and it, it's, uh, you know, a bit open up, you can see it on, whatever, so they don't want to start it. So what we did is actually, most of the time we put a layer of uh, uh, plywood or something like that, you know, kind of solid support. This is, this is something that, especially for factor, we're not dry, because of that, but it's something that's very really easy, it has to be that. Yeah. So it is small thing, but people, people don't, don't really look at it and then understand what is the, is the point having and what. Yeah. All right. So uh, a couple of things that Chao said just now. So sometimes, sometimes when you are dealing with metal, metal communication, you can't really have it a smoother. Uh, Chao saying that you can you can if you wanted to have a solid piece uh a crypto machine might not be a feel in setting it to architects. So sometimes you, you do work with a uh what's funny uh ACB. Say they have they, they work with aluminium, they are much, much easier to work with. But as long as below this actually, in fact, below this uh uh this uh so far setting, there is another machine. Double machine, you have to make sure water level down first. Aesthetic comes on the second type of it. You know, you can extend it, but you don't have everything. There's so many. So, what we did uh, in this, this project, that it, we, we told them we want to do this scan, but before that, we put this uh, element composite. What we did is to actually refresh it first nicely, uh, water type, then you camouflage it with, uh, with another, another DCP. Yeah, we can, we can do that. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be. It could be Using metal, but if you expect a uh, metal to, to be like this kind of smoker, I think I, I don't think that will be achievable. Right? You, have, you have to know what, what you're going to do, right? Right, so now when you come to plastic, that's not I said, there's a lot of size, right? So, how these cost optimizations uh, uh, come by? You know, we have um, 900, 600, 450, 355, 150. where does it come from? Right, let me tell you the secret. My normally, when we do our own thing, our original files from Blue Scoop are 914, 911. So, in order for me to do an uh, optimization of my machine, either I use 900 mm, the whole piece, and I pack into a thing. So, if I cut into two, or 900 cut into two, I got 450 pitch. I don't have any image. Right, if I cut to 600, then I have 300 pitch, I can do 300 like machine. So the idea is when you go to your province, you know, uh, especially I advise uh, the, the, the roofers and they, 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 I would say they're not possible, they might not know. They come to us, they say, hey, I need a 625 member. So that 25 member, and I say, not exceeding, not exceeding 600, when it's exceed 600, I have to charge you 900. Right, so this is cost optimization. When you do your integrity or you, when you do your site, especially your site, if you can truly a bit, we call it a bit truly here, try and then and that's not impact the 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 the, 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 sorry, the performance. You actually try to to do this kind of sizings. Then, so if not, the, the contractor will come to you. Hey, hey, uh, sir, actually, it's in the hundred, the hundred and ten. You know, the hundred. I think I have one point two good machine. You know, uh, six hundred and ten to be to be to be to be to the example that I can I can only show which one is nine hundred mm. That's a cost. If you have two hundred meter run of road, imagine how much cost that will be involved. So this is the, the the technique of how how you actually how you how you determine the size and also building type and shape. I do know that uh, 
one of my competitors. They go by Ben Lee, charging go by Ben. Yeah. <laughs> well, right. <laughs> so you want to be busy, I want to go to here, go to stay in, that kind of thing. And that, that company actually charged by by uh, by by bending, by type of shape, band. Two band, one again, four band, six again, another band, another six again. So it's all cost. When I say cost optimization, it is you have to understand. You can be fancy, but uh, you can find us how we go. We don't, we don't go by band much, we go by length. You know, and then get to me. So there, there are people who, 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 who actually are uh, used by band. And like Chao mentioned that I think the longest ever flashing bender that weighs about six meter. Uh, if you're big six meter, one piece will be like you. But when you when it when come to eight meter, you cannot six plus six, then you always fish. Right? So it is again for the organization, are depending on the size that, that what you do. You don't do six me, you know, I want it to be seamless, panjang, uh, six meter lorry from KL to Binang is thousand eight. Uh, eight lorry from KL to Binang will be six hundred. With the same quantity amount of uh flashing that you can put in glory. So of course. Why are the architect one attack? Huh? Because why well, architect one attack? See that then uh you know for 20, 25 years all these common problems happen every day. Now, shall we mention just now the other and but which one is more important? Anybody can answer me. Which one is more important? Datos or five are important? Who said that is important? Ah, there's no wrong and right answer. As you I want to do some exercise whether you guys are up to it, how to see your mathematics, how the bit of testing. How how you doing? Let's let's go together then. All right. Under zero, Commonwealth Scientific Institute Research Organizations. How you determine your markers? I always say I always determine the markers. I will forget, forget about the Datums. You must have a correct part, right? So, numbers of five. So, in zero, what they call it a cross section of dumb pipe, if the data should be 65 mm square uh, for each square meter root area drilling into the dumb pipe. So, this is the concept of zero model duplication hydraulics. Whoever study engineering, they do hydraulic or food mechanics, they may want to calculate this thing. That is a key data. I mean, if the water flow to the E, then your pipe can be 65 mm. Calculate the base of 65 mm. But if you have a building that MG, where your data and pipes are internal, then the numbers that you need to 95 mm square for each square meters of calculation. All right? So, you don't have a people here. Let's say you have a building, I think you're going to write something. You have a building, let's say, in next so, so good industrial, you have a big building. So you have a building like 100 meters length with 100 meters wide. That will give you what? How many meters square? 10,000 10, meters square. So now, if you have 100 meters length, what will you be your column? Distance, normally we do by column sum, right? Let's say in 100 meters, you have a column every 10 meters, right? So, meaning to say you are going to have about 10 pipes, right? 10 pipes. So, now, anybody want to open that calculator? Just, just to say that you, you, you are up with, you know? So, if you have 10,000 meters there, you have 10 numbers of pipes. When, when you talk about 65 and then, we just get what you did. Meaning to say that 10,000 meters square. You divide by 10, you get uh, 1,000. So then you time 65. First, you got 65,000 mm square pipe that you need. But how do you get the numbers of pipe? So it's a bit of a form by mathematics. Huh? Pi r to the power of 2. Mm -hmm. Okay, by the power of 2. So now, in order to get the 65,000, Divide by five is three point one four two divide. How much again? Seventeen hundred two two four. How much again? How much again? Sixty five divide three point one four two. Twenty. How much? Twenty. Twenty. 
Okay, thirty two thousand actually the numbers of bar that we need to buy by five half or two that means that you have to square root of that number twenty three thousand when you get square root. Come on, come on, I'm gonna make it set up here and then you can take my chances. So once you get the numbers, you get your R power of two. Then when you when, when you get the one, you go for B. So then you got the nearest part. Probably I think you get about two hundred mm. Not mm. Again, anybody? So, so whatever that you get, whatever that you get, eventually, are uh, you going to do it at home? Uh, eventually, whatever that you get, there's some shadow saying that whatever price in the market, you should go one step. Right? Eventually, if you get about 155, your price should be 200. If you have 98, 95, and now think your price should be 100. So you have to set it back to all that. That's how you can make That's why when I say whether the gutters or the pipe are important, for me, I'm activating the pipe first before activating the gutters. Because as long as the water can be discharged fast enough, I don't care about the gutters. Anybody expert on symbolic or again? Symbolic. Symbolic, they don't care about the gutters. Basically, as long as you can start doing the uh, symbolic start to, to take effect. They don't care what your gutter size. All right. Okay. Let's let's do let's do another one. Okay, gutter versus pipe. Let's let's let do something else. Okay. Uh we 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 have created so-called a calculation. So it's a bit a bit of a uh mathematical here. Yeah? Then I think it's uh, uh, in hydraulics, uh, we have a few formula. I think you use the C formula, you can do many, you can do uh number filter. Which is a bit okay, let's 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 calculate what is the rainfall in Vienna now? What is the highest rainfall in Vienna? Anybody know? <laughs> no, you know. Come on. But <laughs> only this is everything. We just put the numbers. Now this uh, uh the, the highest rainfall that we put uh recorded in Sangor when the flooded in 2022 or 21 has been flooded. It's about 250 mm per hour. Let us uh, shall we put 450 mm Okay, so just now we're talking about the pipe is every 10 meter, right? Your column is 10 meter. So you have pipe center to center is 10 meter. Just now the room is about length of the room is 50 meter by 50, 100, 100 by 100, 100 by 100, right? So 100 by 100. So, so if you put, if you put now because of the 10 meter, then you have to pipe up. Then up. This is what we call it a section calculation. Section definition. Now, shall I go down a bit? So, wait, 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 wait. No, okay. Now, your catchment area to take into consideration actually 1000 meters square. You need 1000 meters square to do it. So, now, so once you do the product, uh, you get the volumetric uh, water flow the gutters. Now, go down. Now, okay. Now, maximum minimum dimension cross section gutters are. What? Now, another information. When people do gutters, they come up from the flat sheet. What is flat sheet? The information normally is 4 by 8. So that's how you always specify the gutters 1,200 meters. Right? 1,200 meters. 1,200 meters, meaning to say you're talking about your width is 400. Your depth will be. 400, 400, uh, change to 400, check out. 400, uh, below, below, 400, 400, below there. Okay, 400, that means 400, 400, 400, 1002. <laughs> right, for that shape, it's 1002, right? So that's your, your box data, you know, box data. So now, so you, you put here, uh, the cheesy formula and calculator actually in, 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 uh, in generally are more stringent than many. They 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 are more stringent than many formula, but these two are more stringent. So when you start putting all this information, uh, velocity of water, coefficient, blah blah blah, then you, you get all the numbers. Definitely get numbers. Go down a bit more, a bit more. 
Okay. Now, once you have your your Q two, you get your numbers or anything. Then you now now just now we can read the five right. We know what five we use. Right. Sure. That's online. Online can see. Sure. Sure. Right. 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 Let's try resharing again. Because he's because of oh, okay. <laughs> All right. So now once one you have this number is a one by two, then you should decide your your, your five sides. No, in this case, that's not all. I just put 155. All right, I just put a less if you put and then the first one and then you put this and the second matter. So when you use the short selling formula, everything, then 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 when you go down your 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 amount of water coming through and is discharged, it's only negative. You you say you need to say the water changes in and the water discharge, it's not fast enough to discharge out. Then this is the way all of the book happen. Right? So this is I never So what if I change my pipe to 300? Yeah, to 300. Right? Still negative. We need to say that see a lot. So we need to say my gutter. Now I instead of change my pipe, because the hundred is too big, really. you might be hard. You might write it like that, you won't write it like So so jabi, yeah. So so why don't why don't we change back the 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 the, the gutters that instead of now we have to get a bigger gutter, right? You change uh, uh to six hundred to six hundred uh what six hundred six hundred means that it won't make it gutters. When one play it after the black sheet comes in two by four, then you have to reverse it. The join is every profit instead of defeat. Does it work, child? Yeah. You see, it's become positive again. So this is how you maintain what kind of doctor of the pipe. But again, as I said, the first fundamental that you must know that your pipe is enough. This is something that 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 the next thing uh, because I say the owner, I say I don't care, you only have to buy. <laughs> you know, you only have to fight. I don't care. You only have to fight. It's my things. I want to put other things. So you only have to fight. Come on. So it's fundamental that how you do it. Yeah. Your architect might not, might, might, might not have to really say, I want to have this fight. I don't know. So you should be. That's just fine. That's my fight. Right. So you have to listen to me. This is how you listen to me. You can ask me. I mean, this is 100, but then I'm this for a bit. Actually, you'll be doing something like 300 fight. Okay, you put it down that if I change back uh, the pipe to 200, I change it to 200, 200, 150. If you go back, you see, you see on the, on the negative side. Then we can What you can do, you, you want to have 200 and then back, you have to enlarge your gutter again. Right? The whole number of number of pipe. I don't know what I mean. I mean, what that you want to do. We only take one section for that moment. That's all. If you want to tap up, you want to add. That's why you, you calculate the, the first way that we calculate the top 10 millimeters square. You have 10 columns. What would be your part? You, you are big over there. You just you cannot go more. But, so bad. Can I tap up with So you add additional. What you can do is actually. Uh, okay, I'll tell you how, how you do it. Shall we go back to the session? Okay, so uh, you 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 your eight gutters just now the sixty five mm because of if kalau even this low blow is outside the ring not so bad, but if your your the deflation of the internal gutter will be ninety five the bigger 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 amount, right? If you if you use a bullet, what what any reduction in we will come to that. We will come to that. So I can't really answer this. I'm going to expert just here. You see here that I'm worried about. <laughs> All right. So uh the because of gutters just now, because some sometimes when you do design when you have to big gutters, you want to do eight gutters, you can't get the bracket too big and the water is too much, it will collapse. So what you do is actually you try to hide it by using a so-called considerator. When considerator no matter how big, more than number or nobody see. As far as the deep concern, you can actually hide. Right, it can be 600 years, 600 years, 600 years, and then nobody see it because it's made to be concealed as much as the roof can, 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 can come with you. Right, so this is another way for you to. I have mentioned under the big gutters, but as a DP, I think I should design in a way of a concealed concealed gutter. Right? Mm -hmm. Ah, come back to some more 
So, uh, that is when we talk about cost optimization of my pain. So, that's now we're talking about uh, this um, normal pipe that we do. They can be many pipes. One doesn't like many pipes. It doesn't like chubby. One swim. Yeah. So, the once you, you uh, again, as I said, when you have this calculation, it's more or less it speaks how many pipes, what are the pipe size, what are the other size. It's basically it speaks. So, now, saponins. What's so great about saponins? What's so great about saponins? So, saponins actually, you are right, you can reduce the pipe size. Because saponin basically is actually is a hydraulic calculation. When you do a conventional pipe, the pipe filling is about 60 to 75 percent. And then you have 100 mm because your water is actually can only fill 60 to 75 percent. So that's why you have must have a safety factor. But in saponin calculation, if you understand people understand, they call it they call the, 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 the terminology they call it two more. Two more meaning to see that you have 100 mm. The water will fill 100 percent into the pipe. I tell you about the Yeah, the bottom one when you put the mark is full wall when you get that up. The mark, right? Something like that. I would like to see by analogy. But if you, if you use uh, this one, then performance is 60 to 75. So that's why you have a safety factor, but full wall. So uh let's outlet with smaller size fatty. Yes, we can. But when you come to uh, cyclonics, uh, it takes a maintenance, it's very difficult. It really is, it's it. Cost of competition and so about cost of money matters. So when you come to, to normal pipe, you have easy connection, socket, glue, glue on, take it out, cut it off, get it out, and then it. Right? So when you come to um, uh, cyclonics, you have uh, you have to butt join, you don't need to cut butt join or electronic joints. There are many things that depend on your style. Huh? So I have, I would say, aggregated saponic thing in Singapore for two weeks. The two half population, what type, what size, everything. Stack. They only one, you, you have saponic is something that you, you join three pipes into one pipe outlet. That is what I call it one stack. So uh, this outlet. They also have 40 liters, 40, 40 liters per second, 36 liters per second, 30 liters per second, it depends how, how big is your building and how you want to do it. So, uh, data could be smaller, it can be cheaper on your, on your data side. But the force of piping uh, with all the accessories can be very much expensive than the first one. Yeah, the one. So, uh, last question area calculated, it depends. One thing that most of architects or most engineers don't understand when you have less stack, what we call a stack, pipe going down. You just now we go back to the, the simple calculation and we did. We have 10 columns, 10 pipes, then we're going to have about 10 sum. Right? Go back to the sum for the limit, right? So you have to do 10 sum. But when we come to ceremony, you enjoy all the pipes, we can only have any set of 10. You probably have about three sum or four sum because the stack, the joint engine, come in one sum. It's all about cost of optimization at the end of the day. Not only on this on this uh, system, but only your ground ground level uh, uh, works as well. Yeah. So this is, this is the technique. So not everybody knows how to calculate, but we have the, the opportunity to learn. I myself also understand the other understanding, right? So one thing, one thing about the uh, symphony, the beauty of symphony, they does not need gradient. Meaning to say, you have to pipe from one hand to the other side, all the way to this side. You do not need a gradient. It, 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 it doesn't depend on gravity because it's based on suction. One, the uh, water level high, the pressure, low pressure, uh, 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 low pressure, high pressure, it pressure out your pipe, your water out. So that's the beauty about Sakoli. Huh? You have a building in the center, you not fall all the way, no building, not even one building, it's flat, basically. Right? So that's the Sakoli thing. Right? That's how Chiara also said about uh, when you do the notching on top, you can put a foam filler. There's a type of foam filler that follow the profile. Unfortunately, before my continuity, you can put it at the back, 
the component is uh, just set the receipt. You told me to, to make sure that birds or smaller small animals do not enter or no water can enter. So you you, you can use it. Most most of the whole you have to go bigger in your farm. If you have this space. Right? So uh, again, the propagation when, when you have uh, this uh, this kind of uh, accessories, when you have a deep formation, you can actually pack it. Part of the reach, either at the, at the belly or the, the weight height, you can carry this accessories on the body accessories. So, so you can use it as a part of the, of the uh, calibration. All right, so again, I'm going to uh, do a notes. Uh, the first slide where I show that, say, please choose a simple material for solution, make sure it's being specified correctly. Uh, everybody understands what we say. Cut and really everything you have to be done. And uh, flashing design seamlessly integrate with your film to make sure it's what the time. Uh, well, uh, okay. we, we have a certain silicone that we, we do, we cannot use. Oh, uh, it's all okay, right? So this is a, a one of the last results that you, you should put down. All right. So uh just to say you're trying to get a smart project with the next product I think really been very long, uh very long in the uh, next that's one of our new project. Right, can you? I think what it did is actually again they use the same material as a as a facial, but they also have like a meshing side. Yeah, and then now the finishing the same material. Okay, uh this is the correct way, same material to do your ventilator meshing to make sure it's all available. Don't simply change kind of thing. This is our now uh setting uh table. Yeah. Table when we have a bigger and smaller it's so they tell you we uh, have a cook or band, so or band that you have to do that. Ah, this, this is when when we did expo, I think I did that. You see, they they they, they don't allow us to have a bigger pipe. What they did is these pipes must be over the same size as this uh the for the you imagine how many how many pipes that I have in the liberty to use? I'm okay. You don't have a pipe. But then that the gutter is also quite big, so they they do it because the gutter, then you don't see it again. So make sure it's possible, but you look at the pipe. The the before the very so you But anyway, that's how you pay. You you do that one or you pay this one. It's really up to you. Right. Now again, just now when we do a calculation, we do one hundred, one hundred by one hundred. So all model fish go all the way to the ends to be taken care by one letter. I mean, it's very important for you to choose. The side like this, and so the pipes. The pipe. So we 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 have the part this in Japanese. Then that uh, you you go like that. Yes, you can, but in in they have to allow us a uh, uh, certain size uh, for them to accept. So you you don't tell me I want a skeleton that is more than four than six or three hundred. Sorry, right. So again, uh, this is a project in Glen Marie going into office. What it is again, they pack the gutters, it's quite a big gutters, because it's one of fish all the way. Then, what they did, they, they box up all the pipes on the inside, so you can't see the thing is that this is all here. So, very, very, very small, okay, what four inches, right? So, uh, they, uh originally we said uh, make it bigger because you pay your way maintenance or three whatsoever. Yeah, all the cheese will be lower than I would. <laughs> right. Uh, so uh, this is another eight gutters. You have eight gutters, but what they did is in this project, they hide the pipe on the second column. That's it, pipe. Right. So this is how we designed it. They, they, they put it in the because it's a main joint. They, they hide the pipe on the second column. Ah, uh, again, a uh, very huge catchment. Uh, they, but this is all symphonics. We have uh, for history, for, for sake of story, we actually follow with the Japanese at the time. They, they said uh, you have to use 250 mm per hour rain. 
So they say, no, 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 it's supposed to be 300. But no, no, they say, do three, three. So what happened is the site only conducted a book to project. So based on that condition, uh, then I think after a few months, they have to add another 1 million ringgit for the sake of re back all the Samoni system because the rate is too much, the pipe is too first. The danger of Samoni when they start pressure up to certain bar, it's, it's very difficult to say. But it just was, you know, yes, but so Japanese learned uh, a hard lesson at the time. Now. And we were not happy, practically. The roof actually, uh, roof is brought on, actually. If you look at the, in the, in the, in the Malaysian book of records, the longest recorded roof length is 131.5 meters. It won't be seen. It's official. So when we did Proto, actually 161 meters. So I believe it's a turn on your back of wood. I think because it's a, it's a project, a quality was failed at the first time the garden in 2006, then it's not relevant. So we don't know how long it is. So why do that make us a big piece? After all this land, Start putting ventilators. <laughs> you imagine you do all this land, 161 meters, everything. Uh, I'm going to put ventilators. They put a hole in the roof. We were so pleased. You know, there's, there's no need. You actually supposed to reach, uh, using a so called uh, simple fridge ventilator there. Uh, so called, they call it uh, air flow, uh, as you know, air flow. We, uh, but I think ask them actually what how much he actually generated from the factory, but they can ask. No, 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 we don't put it is. Okay, lah. But yeah, 161 meter with here, yeah. 100 of it later. Don't we? Can we explain the race? One is for skyline, or is the design for skyline? They actually the skyline also here. They we, we actually recommend that they put the skyline and also do this dual function. You have light for the bottom and not so they had the ventilators. I, I don't know how we got in. I don't know how they do. In fact, when they asked me, I, I asked a simple question. I said, what actually your, your heat generated inside? And what is your opening? You have a lot of opening air flow, must be all right. So, or... uh, it's open, open, open. Uh, assembly, uh, it's got assembly line, ETM. Engine transmission, ETM, engine transmission. Uh, manufacturing building. This is how did, the did you go in after We did not, but actually, when you do a uh, factory like this, they uh, have a calculation how much is generated, and they just let they know how much of it they should use. So, something like that. So, again, uh, this is Panasonic, which is brought over by Infineon uh, or something like that. So, again, the same thing, they, they, they need to, we have to make sure that this pipe was actually very small. Uh, no, no, very less. They, 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 the Japanese doesn't like many pipes. Uh, so they, they, they hide the gutter towards the end uh, before the after the patient. So, but they, they have a very uh, small pipe with less pipe. The gutter has to take care of most of the water before it goes out. Right? Now, can change? All right. Again, uh, when you have a long roof, so this is a warehouse in uh, MIC, for crack. So what they did, uh, this is, this is, they have no ventilators. What they did, it is all rubbers, and the skylight act as a natural lighting. Right, it's not the design. It's a huge warehouse. Yeah. Um, it is, uh, you, you have, uh, this is where the calculation of uh, gutters must be very important from the inside. They use hyponic because it's exactly at the center. They need to they disperse out the water out. Where the amount of water is quite huge inside here, then um, the hidden hidden gutters um, plus the saponics. So they didn't have any, they have they have the yeah. of reading to make sure the water move out. Right. This is another another concept. And just now you see the round is actually power flow. This is uh, all are inward flow. You see when they hide again the, the, the gutters, what they did, the five all are inside here. So, all the messages, right? This is the I put it quite in here, just like a wall pen with mark inside, right? Uh, again, uh, detailing on the housing basically, uh, what I think this project, if I'm not wrong, they, they're willing to pay what they need is the 0.42, uh, 0.48 of a roof. They wanted the, the flashing to be 0.6, so they want to be good, firm, and sturdy. So they be willing to pay the owner. I mean, that house about two million plus, I think, they don't care. 
Okay, but they didn't have to be copy like that. This is our other spectrum. Okay, today, what we have learned, what I told you guys that detailed specification, such as possible architect are responsible to make sure things are correct. You know, what's in the world has to be able to do that. This is exposed to the PX one, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, it has to be compatible and uh, not contrary information, stability. The sheet capping, it has to be practical, setting doesn't need to be so big, doesn't need to be very small, events is too small, what does it come in, too big, to be a waste of resources, you know? And rain water good, just now you will be a calculator, how to read the video pipes, make sure it's correct. Then uh, the, the side, everything, and probably will work much the cost. Accessories, there's a lot of accessories. The sound from uh, solar panel, from running arresters, from camping, everything you can, you can get it from a proper road power. And of course, uh, cut and shape, you know, you have to, to make sure that they, they don't simply use like, you know, grinders and, and all accessories, but I said, you know, gas, cut the road, it shouldn't be. It needs to take some thing. Thank you very much for your time. Any human question that you want me to answer? Any out of this topic also, if I can answer, I'll answer you. As I said, the last that I do, you know, me suddenly you talk about other than they talk about something that's wrong for. Then, and somebody asked about the UDL, and the now I think that's what we're talking about GDI. Already actually have gone to GDI process. You know, when we talk about GDI, I think we talk about it. Well, how many lectures are people used to come? Maybe it will come to you. They, 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 they will say to you that they are their product actually listed in the green book. Then you get into the green book, right? And if you got the green book, then your product actually specified in the green book. So when you say, oh, we are GBI, specified everything. Technically, GBI. Oh, sorry, sorry. Sorry, online. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, GBI, GBI does not certify the product. Yeah, let, let, let it be GBI does not specify the product. They specify your building, incorporated or everything, your roof, you know, one point, you know, building recycle material or two points. Then, then, uh, then you have the uh, IC, internet comfort. Where your the more value under you will get any day should not more than zero from zero four to four on your one form. Uh kind of thing. Then you will have a part here in a boiler, you are recycle, regular harvesting everything. So uh they 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 these people does not understand they can't really have product in a production in the ICD but it's not it's not the case. GBI always certified the building, not the production. Right? So then you don't understand. The so the UVBL things, uh, how to get the U value, I think it's something that uh, is a is a is a experienced people know how to get the U value correctly, uh, calculated it correctly, and optimizing it correctly also, right? So uh, a few architects, I think somewhere in Chicago, they they did ask me what is the cheapest. I actually asked them if she want the cheapest uh, insulation material in town. Can anybody answer me what is the cheapest material? Insulation material in town. Slide on, drop it off, sit up. Sit up. The cheapest actually is free, actually, air. Just painted again. Right? Everybody, everybody is just painted again. But how much care can you do? You know, you can do a thing, but simulate a thing doesn't get below the low point. There's no way. There's no way that you can get that thing. And people ask me how, uh, whether to use Robo, how to use Glasgow, mm -hmm. what to use. I am not a fan of selecting any Glasgow or Robo, or, but it is the correct way of getting it. Correct, correct way of calculating it. I think this is how you have to understand. Because Robo now, everybody asks me, I, I want to have your model for as minimum as possible. I'm not going to be too short just to get the GPI. And, and uh, many ideas are. You know, you can use uh, raw wood, glass wood, what are insulation that you probably use? Sita, Sita, what you use? What was Sita? You can use, but you will, you know, air, plywood, CPA board, DIR, you all are insulation. It's not the R value, it can be used with smooth, then you can get the value with a simple, you know, 
So, as far as other side, the SSV, other people should be involved. So, only one. Right? So, any questions from the audience? Uh, any questions? How do we know the many things? If there's anything, I will let you know. Nothing so far. How do you make sure or what provision that is required of you? Or from you, right? In terms of making sure that your, your warranty applies for each observation. I think we, we, we have a talk on the one. I think it's a responsibility of getting that warranties comply. It's a responsibility of everyone. I started from this presentation done by you guys, you know, the product of useful field. Then uh, in any project, despite that we might not be able to go and visit all the project. And this on those two, if we have a form before we issue a warranty that you are making that uh, what are the material, what are the screws, what are the isolations, what are the uh, how should I, um, other things necessary that we use, whether there is a uh, uh, tiny arrestors, the tiny arrestors, either they use aluminium or so bad, aluminium not so bad, but we so have to offer, I think it's something that uh, clearly a no no things can go on. So it has not that we comply that we we will issue a warranty as per information that we have. And if, if we know that the contractors or the applicators since small one are in so many we uh, we know good one, we bad one, you know the notorious one. So when we feel things are not right. When we feel that it's been violated in terms of not knowing the, the certification, I think the technical people of the scope have every right to go to DC before the warranty is issued. But not all. We think we think, we think that we, we, we notice that these um, contractors have a history, recording history to do all this kind of thing. Normally we will do a double check. That, that's how we do, that's how we try to. Uh, to comply as much as possible. Can you list down or specify the conditions that would not nullify your warranty? Or us? There is a case of that. No, you don't want to say it. Actually, yes, actually, we really shape up a lot. If you go to our website, you get all the technical bulletin. If you would like to have a copy, you also can send to you. But uh, what, just to add on what Saidi mentioned is, uh, because it's good enough that because the other one in the market price is the case. So, so like, like we will send a form for them to do it. We we'll send it back that if you have a lot of job reference, who comes with a lot of job reference, we can know that some area actually is not the case. We will go and go and inspect it and see whether it's really the case. So, but it's still that it's still up back to the contractor, which is a contractor. I think for Brenda also would be so big enough to challenge that because we could back the back of the people that much. So, so whenever we start out, then we also take it seriously because I believe there's a there's an IP or cloud work site to be aware that what this thing should be, should be checked and should be aware of. Well, the thing is, normally when there are problems, yeah, those, yeah. there will be a dispute. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. What we what we normally do is uh when the so-called walking in case, the so-called material burden, we always will carry out the inspection. We will find out where was the root cause. And if really that happened, it's definitely a problem, of course we will we will figure out and see how we replace it. But uh most of the time you're right, it's happened there. We do you have a checklist of do's and do's in you know, order you know, yeah. You would have it, what is it? And we also function many, many times with uh, all the all the so called related person in our industry. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm talking about say that you can put into your spec one page of do's and do's to yeah. make sure that the warranty is up. Uh, so that the contractor, uh, when they when when they get on with the work, we just feel that that's the do's and do's uh, is in the spec. Yeah, just there's two things I'm just normally sharing with you quite a lot. Then, but whatever we cover or not. Uh, like what we have for the for the so-called house and everything. Actually, the warranty is and everything that we cover on our house. 
So actually, it's uh, whoever taken the warranty and signed it, they should be aware of what they're talking about and what we are what we are offering on this. So actually, we do take document wise and also educational wise, we really need concurrently. So yeah, but it's said that always that something happened and then come take a look at it. And it's maybe something it too late, but it's, but it's still that we will go and invest kind of this is so something good also. If you manage it, you also uh also, also go improve our data back. We know that it's still always in this area. They will be of it. And people submit that form, we know that this area we, we, we don't really try to cheat the sign wise. Yeah. So this is the way we can do it. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so what's your what's your main concern about the end? There's no one in there. What do you know about What can you tell us about the end? Okay, the yeah, end is uh, actually is a end global. The end actually is actually much more than one actually much more. Actually, based in America, they are like the uh, yeah, United the batteries. They, they have their own certification. So in the end, they did. There are a lot of uh, American investors. So the investor they bring their specification for FM Global. FM Global actually related to FM Global Insurance. So this factory uh that that actually built in, in Pinay or in Asia, they use this product, they buy the FM Global insurance, which is the million schools below, because they they use they use the product that is sitting by my lab, FM Global Lab in US, New York. Okay. Now, uh, we have lost a few jobs in Benin because of the specification. Go on, they said, uh, uh, it has to be FM. Right? So, what is FM go in some booking information? So, if you look at my catalogs, uh, there is what we call R715, and we call it FM go. So, what, what people do not understand is this American thing. My FM R715, FM under the call it FM 4451, actually for decking. Okay, when I say for decking, 0.75 and then BND, that is only meant for decking. When you say when you put that roof, uh, there will be normally they use uh, this uh, so called membrane roof, lah. membrane roof, which is a little star, then there's another few other brands, uh, like. Uh, I was calling a funny story, EMI, in my separate, right? So that my lineup, with that testing that I paid for 60 over thousand to do the testing, and every year I have to pay a license for 5,000 US a year. So that when I tell FN 4451, they call it that, I can only use for lineup. That means there will be another room on top of my product, right? Now, if I take that FN, my R715, I want to use it as a roof, right? Yes, I have better. Oh, no, 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 no. U4451, you can only do it like it. You want to put it as a roof, or you have to pay for another 60,000, you can use under 4470. I took a license also, not every year, right? So, this is, this is an abnormal kind of thing. So, now go back to what I said, I lost few projects in the bank. They said it has to be four four seven zero as far as I know the if you you can browse to uh FM group FM uh they call the roof net roof net you can see you know, what other product that you put in put as far to be concerned and also what are the uh what's the the, the standards they have been put so as far as you mentioned there's no there's none none roof formal nation for four four seven zero in the roof but I know Boston Scientific, I understand, I think I'm about to scientific over here. I think there's a few, they use it again, they, they come out with a very calculation. Okay, so I spoke to yeah, them, if every time you accept calculation, that by whatever engineers, or that will go down, nobody will go for testing. What do you like to go for testing? You can accept calculation, right? So they said, conditionally, you got this time over here, yada, yada, yada. I said, that's not bad. So if everybody do calculation and you approve, then nobody will go for FM testing. Mm -hmm. Are you right? Under over 1,000, 5,000 US a year, what the hell? Wait, don't you want that? Right? 
So uh, that, that's what happened, uh, but of course they go through. Uh. And FM in Malaysia, okay, FM can talk about buffet generally. If you have passed, I mean one of my, my FM, I passed they call it class 190. One class 190 meaning my group were able to withstand the wind speed up to 90 miles per hour. I cannot agree that. If my product even is FM approved, I want to use it in Vietnam. Can I use it? Because Vietnam is I plus one, one to move. The speed is higher on this side. That's good. That's good. That's good. Right. So in terms of being paid, even higher, one to five. Oh, oh, America, what do you think? You want to do Vietnam? Oh, you're going to test. So this is the problem and then people do not understand how it works. People say, oh, you have to put AI, I have to put from here, I can put on top of it. That's not the case. That's so the all this education is about making money. Well, that's uh, this business is all about. Uh, okay. So what FM is everybody has to understand FM how, how it works. It's not as simple as that. You have to get that, that number slide, your your standard yeah. slide, your test slide. Mm -hmm. So meetings is uh, improving. Uh, Obviously, yeah, okay. Yeah. 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 Ye